Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 9th, 2020. So we had kind of an interesting close on Friday with folks rushing into the market. Unfortunately, those folks who bought on Friday afternoon are going to feel some significant pain this morning. So let's talk about that. How about we just settle in, grab yourself something to eat, do me a favor, sit back and just take a breath. Try not to panic and we will um, kick off the Monday morning edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, obviously, there is some serious panic going on. During the night, um, well, yesterday uh, there was a failure between OPEC and Russia to come to some agreement on oil prices and Russia or excuse me OPEC decided rather than um, trying to control the oil prices let's just punish let's just punish um, the market punish um, Russia and let's flood the market with oil well, um, in that process, certainly um, oil is plunging uh, dramatically this morning. Uh, there are some predictions saying that oil may reach $20 a barrel. Um, that may be good news for consumers for the short term, but what it's doing is creating tremendous um, fluctuations in currencies. And we're in kind of a really interesting situation where I, I know every, a lot of folks are screaming, we need more central bank intervention. But now the central banks are, have a dilemma. Do we cut rates to help stimulate the economy? Or do we protect our currency by raising rates to um, stop uh, currency falls? from uh, happening so kind of an interesting situation setting up here and um, quite a little bit of panic going on in the market now last night um, U.S. futures markets triggered uh, the 5% down circuit breaker, stopping all trading in um, U.S. futures. And that is uh, still halted this morning. There's there's no trading going on in the futures. We are limit down uh, this morning, looking at a substantial decline this morning. Now, once trading resumes, we could see some serious panic uh, come into the market this morning. And you guys know that I've talked uh, the last few couple of days in the morning videos that I I was afraid we hadn't seen capitulation yet well we may actually reach that capitulation today or this week um, because we can probably expect with this drop this morning um, just imagine if you happen to be running the phone bank for a uh, mutual fund a 401k plan um, big brokerage uh, firms uh, there is going to be non-stop phone calls um, screaming folks at the top of their lungs to get them out of this mess um, it, it may be absolutely at the worst time ever but when it's your money the panic really sets in and we could see some more forced selling to occur now obviously 401ks and um, mutual funds they won't redeem until um, tomorrow we, we won't see those effects happening until we get through the next couple of days so even though we're gapping substantially lower just keep in mind this may not be done um, today we would like to think oh maybe we got this out of the way but that may not be the case as a matter of fact we could actually see um, um, an awful lot of margin calls and things being created forcing additional selling here in the market so what does that mean well obviously we're dropping substantially lower here this morning and the worst thing we can do at this point is panic um, 
If you're holding positions, um, obviously you are in extreme pain. And I've been warning for some time and just letting folks know that I'm not uh, during this process when it was just wild and crazy, except for really quick intraday trading, I was not trading. And so I'm, I'm pretty much in cash and I'm in a good position. But if you aren't, I can understand how painful that is because I've been there before. Um, try not to panic. Try not to make emotionally based decisions. Certainly, this is going to be a very rough day. Now, we have circuit breakers for the U.S. markets as well. So right now, we're looking at a gap down right in here. As you can see, that's where our morning open is indicated, um, dropping substantially here. If that doesn't hold, if we see additional selling, notice we have some price support in here. And we could even sink down into these levels as the day goes on. Now, I know no one wants that to occur. No one wants to see that. In fact, it's almost unimaginable to f some folks that we could see that kind of selling. But believe me, it's possible. And we have to be prepared for uh, that situation as panic kind of grips uh, the market here. So please be very, very careful. This is going to create a very dangerous market to trade. Um, it could it could really decimate a lot of count a lot of accounts uh, today as this stuff is being wiped out as prices are being wiped out. Um, as you can um, may have heard, um, even cryptocurrencies are not. Um, are not um, safe from this. Um, um, in the last 24 hours, cryptocurrencies have wiped out about $26 billion in value. This thing is uh, tumbling and tumbling hard. So please keep in mind, it may not be finished and don't be that person that, to be the first one to try and rush back in. Like those folks on Friday, rushing back in with those CNBC reports that keep coming out. Oh, now's the time to buy. There's great opportunity. True, there will be great opportunity when this is over. There's nothing in the signs of this price action that suggests this is over just yet. So be very, very careful here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY also plunging hard oh by the way i should i should show um moving averages um it, it it seemed kind of almost impossible right at one point in time that we would break back down below the 500 day and break this low well we're going to open below that low this morning um seriously breaking through that fifth uh 500 day moving average and um you know, maybe we start looking to uh, bigger charts. You know, if we go to weekly, um, a weekly chart, um, I could really see the 200 day being tagged here on the weekly charts um, in the diamonds. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY on that chart, um, the daily chart, as you can see, we're gapping substantially below its 500 day now. We had held it once before on our last low, gapping substantially lower. If we look for some price support in here, we certainly have some price support right through this area right there. If that holds, fantastic. If that doesn't hold, then we'll start sinking into these next levels of support. And don't be surprised if we see that potentially occur because of the panic that will come in and folks running for the doors to get out of the way of this move. If I look at a weekly here, where do we find um, some of those big moving average supports? Let's look at the weekly. It, it would seem kind of um, unreasonable to believe at this point that SPY could reach that weekly 200. But we kind of thought that about the uh, daily 500 too. So um, keep that in mind that there there's a uh, still a potential um, large move down before we find um, some solid footing here in the market. The Qs seeing um, substantial selling this morning, uh, gapping down. And one good thing about the Qs, you can see we're gapping down here and we haven't quite reached this level of support right in here. There's pretty good level of support 
in price right here on the queues but keep in mind if that doesn't hold then we could slip on lower so um, here we are queues finally breaking that 200 day moving average and if we if we break on below this level of support notice that we could come down to that 500 day moving average pretty easily just slipping right on through that level of support right there so watch that close if selling really picks up here um, and it certainly has that potential of doing so. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, this, this has been a, uh, a, a sick index for some time anyway, but IWM collapsing hard this morning, uh, dropping substantially lower, as you can see. Um, we uh, failed to hold that support on Friday right in here. Now we're looking at opening down here. There is some price support in this area. If the sellers don't pile on here this morning, we could hold in that area. If they don't hold, if buyers don't come in and start holding this, we could sink right down into here pretty easily. So keep that in mind. This is gonna be a rough day in the market. And if you're holding positions, it's gonna feel like the the end of the world for a little bit of time but please understand um, this is going to create great opportunity for us if we're not in this market right now if we're not fighting this market trying to hold it up if we look at this as a positive it can be a positive positive. and what I mean by that is when this is over there's going to be unbelievable opportunities in the market so try to try to not panic take that breath step back and say i don't have to trade this today i don't have to be in this mess let's let this shake out then we'll look for our opportunities but don't fight this panicked driven market let's take a look at the vix i know when we were talking about the vix it seemed just completely um uh, unlikely that we could actually break above a 50 uh, handle here on um, the VIX but we are going to do that this morning I suspect we're going to move substantially above the 50 and you can see back here in 2008 we actually ran up here into the 90 um, 80s and 90s um, on that VIX so keep that in mind we could reach all the way up here um in that panic driven move um, and i'm just going to place that right here and avoid that wick but we could move all the way up here in fact we could gap up into that um, area pretty easily so keep that in mind a lot of pain a lot of a lot of damage is is being done today as this panic sex sets in and i'd like to say that it, it could be very short-lived but i don't know that to be true um, this oil price war could certainly uh, drag on for some time um, um, certainly we are a long ways from being out of the woods on this virus situation that's creating all of this uncertainty for the market so this piling on of issues uh, continues to grow and um, certainly affecting the uh, psyche of the market and bringing in quite a little bit of panic so try to like i say take that breath step aside realize we don't have to fight this let's wait let's wait for our opportunities here in uh, the market put on that ghillie suit just lay in the weeds wait wait patiently for that shot that you need to take um, be that sniper uh, very patiently waiting for that opportunity for that trade when the market does um, start to show some improvement and who knows when that will be we may have to wait for some time let's take a look at t2122 now normally t2122 tells us when we've reached that oversold condition and we have that potential for moving higher but we are in a full-on panic situation here we saw this back in 2008 and that full-on panic type mode and you can see we're down here at the bottom already but that's going to continue to sink um, sharply this morning 
not much we can do about that as that panic kind of takes over here in the market. You can just imagine a mom and pop investor and, and all of those folks are just, uh, they're scrambling, uh, trying to find a way to protect their capital. And so we could actually see um, more selling come into the market, just those forced redemptions. Um, and they often happen at the worst possible time uh, when they shouldn't be panicking. That's when they panic and um, they really start to drive markets lower here. So be very, very careful. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar for today. There's really nothing on the calendar today to be worried about at all. We've got a couple of bond auctions. Now, certainly our bonds are continuing to show a major damage here. Um, um, 10 year treasury is at, at like 0.34. Um, all time record lows. We continue to break new lows as everyone runs, trying to find at least a little bit of safety um, in this market. And uh, those bonds are collapsing sharp, uh, terribly. It's a very, very rough market here. And um, um, we're asking, you know, some bond auctions today. It may be pretty hard to sell some bond. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, at the rates that they're going to offer, it may be hard to sell, but maybe there'll be a plenty of demand to pick those up. And then we have the TD Ameritrade IMX number, not expected to move the market at all today. We have about 100 companies reporting earnings, but I got to be honest, guys, I don't think anybody's going to be paying attention to that. Everyone's going to be worried about the circuit breakers that could potentially trigger. Now, let me explain that in the market we have circuit breakers if the market falls um, if the market were to plunge uh, by five percent um, and we could easily hit that this morning if the market if the s p 500 drops by five percent we could trigger a circuit breaker a circuit breaker is going to stop trading for 15 minutes in the market though will there will halt all trading for about 15 minutes it allows the computers to catch up hopefully gets everyone to breathe just a little bit um, and um, stop uh, just to halt for just a little while so 15 minutes break in the market if we were to decline by as much as 13 percent um, in the market we would halt trading again for another 15 minutes as um, we try to let the computers catch up and um, hopefully get everyone to calm just a little bit. Now, worst case scenario, if we decline 20% on a day, um, that's a limit down on the day and the markets will stop trading for the rest of the day. I don't expect that to occur. But we always want to know where those limits are, and so pay attention to that. Um, we could easily hit uh, the 5% circuit breaker today um, to the downside. So we could experience that halt in trading. Be very, very careful, guys. This is, this is a very dangerous market, and be very, very careful. Um, even as a very experienced um very fast intraday trader this will be dangerous whip dangerous um, volatility for uh, virtually anyone so um, you know remember one of the one of the major um, acts that a trader uh, should do is to protect their capital um, we <laughs> there's an old saying you know run away scared um, so that you can live to fight another day that is really the case today. Run away scared. Protect your money. Um, it may be a good idea if if things are just looking so bad. Just shut your computer off. Go do something else. Um, get this out of your head. Try not to panic um, in this market. It will get better. And you know the great thing, guys, is if we if we don't panic, if we protect our capital, if we wait, if we stand on the sideline, let someone else uh, deal with all of this mess. And it's going to be the institutions doing that. Once they halt all of this selling and all and everything comes along, if we've protected our capital, if we have all of our capital base um, available to us, there's going to be incredible opportunities. So look at this sell-off as, as a situation that could be very beneficial. We just have to be patient. Um, 
So try to stay calm. Try to take that breath. Step away from the computer. Um, it, in one day, you're not going to miss anything. Believe me, in one day, you're not going to miss anything. You're not going to miss the full-on rebound uh, because it uh, uh, bottoms are a process just like anything else. Bottoms are a process, and it will take some time for us to work through the process. And we're really at the beginning of this virus situation here in the United States, so it's going to be some time. So relax. Take a breath. Um, protect your money. Um, do something productive rather than try to fight this market um, in this very dangerous environment. Just a few words of advice from a guy who battled the market years ago and just found that I came away bloody, bruised, and a whole lot less capital for the effort. So keep that in mind. Um, no point in really talking about any, any stocks to potentially um, grab today. Um, it's going to be very, very dangerous. So I'm not going to bring up any potential stock trades. Um, technicals in the charts are just an absolute mess. And it will take a while for that to recover. So everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. And if you could do me a favor, if, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. And also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. I know it's tough on a day like this to just feel like um, helping out anybody at all because uh, things are so bad. But if you could help us continue to grow, if we could reach out to more folks with uh, some of this information to avoid that panic and help them improve their trading, um, I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourselves, guys. Take that breath. Relax. Um, this will be better one day soon. And there will be some great trading to be had. Until then, protect that money, protect your capital. Everyone take care, have a great day, and we will talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.